Hey everybody, it's day two on the fasting mimicking diet with Prolon. And on day two, I get to start with this spearmint lemon tea. And um, on this little sheet right here, an L nut bar. So day two, we're with the tea and an L nut bar. And then um, throughout the day, there's different soups and everything like that on day two. So uh, day one was great. Day one, you see the most of the components right here. It's probably the highest calories in general on day one. Um, day one feels great. Wasn't really hungry at all. Didn't really feel like I was fasting. Um, no headaches. Mood is good. Uh, mood is great, actually. I felt up. Uh, I woke up feeling like a champ. Uh, sleep was wonderful. And I uh, feel really energy uh, energized today. You can't tell. Just super energized today. And so, <clears throat> um, one of the biggest aspects about the prolonged fasting mimicking diet is that um, on day two to three, there's generally a transition. And that transition can mean either a boost of energy for most people, or people can be very hungry at those days. But generally the hunger is like a mild to moderate hunger and not necessarily like a starving sensation. And, um, and you know, uh, the previous times that I've done it, um, day three to day four, have felt a little bit hungry, but um, hunger is just weakness leaving the body, right? That's what I like to say. And so, uh, generally feeling pretty good. I um, want to touch upon a few points about the fasting mimicking diet is that, you know, there's a lot of research that's to be released that I cannot even talk about right now because I'm sworn to secrecy. Um, and I really don't want to jeopardize the publication either. Um, but the research that's coming out is very evident for a lot of beneficial effects for those in, um, in the cancer population, getting chemotherapy and those uh, getting hormonal therapy from different hormone positive cancers and also um, what we already know about about prolon is that it reduces uh, the side effects of nausea uh, and uh, and the abdominal pain uh, headaches and fatigue of uh, chemotherapy significantly this is done in a 2015 study so that's already published and we already know that but for the general population and for me who is not on chemotherapy or have cancer um, what uh, what we know, uh, uh, looking at some studies, is uh, we know that they have significant beneficial effects in reducing uh, triglycerides and blood cholesterol markers after just three rounds. So three rounds is three months, so it's five days a month for three rounds in a row. Um, and so it's, it's able to get down some numbers that we um, typically can't even get down with pharmaceutical agents or nutraceutical agents. And so the, the benefits of fasting, uh, we are just scratching the surface, but I'm really excited to, to, to continue to see that. And the benefits of the fasting mimicking diet seems to be in studies to be superior than actually a pure water fast in a lot of incidences, including uh, possibly changing the gut bacteria, the gut microbiome. It may be significantly faster to change the, the gut bacteria with a fasting mimicking diet. But a lot, a lot of those things I want to touch upon later. And be, you guys, be sure to subscribe to Fasting Talks. So you can just search Fasting Talks.